Please tell me why most African American kids are walking to school and not riding buses, and white kids do. Can I file a case about that? Mr. Pearson, I'll agree to go to a three judge panel, but you have to be the plaintiff. Well, I can't be a plaintiff because I had to move to Florida to support my family, so I had to drop the case. A case for bus transporta transportation of African American kids. Would anybody want to be the plaintiff? I'll be the plaintiff. Okay, Mr. Briggs, we'll contact you with the, with the info. Briggs versus Elliott court case. Most African American parents say that their children should have buses to go to and from school. They have no way to get the money to fund for the buses, so therefore all the white parents would have to pay more money to get them the white the black kids buses. What? What? What are you talking about? African American children need buses to get to and from school. Without those buses, African Americans might have to walk ten miles to school each and every day. I understand your point, Mr. Briggs, but it doesn't violate the 14th Amendment. Okay, it doesn't violate the 14th Amendment. Okay, okay, it doesn't violate the 14th Amendment. So let's talk about the law slipper, but equal, I want to challenge that. We can try to take it to the Supreme Court. NAACP, a few years later, picked up the case from Briggs versus Elliott and recruited Brown to take it to the Supreme Court, and they won their case. Clarendale County and lawyers agreed that segregated schools harmed black children psychologically and violated the 14th Amendment. Jessica Simpkins helped draft the petition for integrated schools. I tried to send an injunction to many schools to end segregation and make all schools equal. They had the courage to get a plaintiff to test the discrimination, so they had to get a board of chair members. After the Brown versus Board of Education case was won, all the schools decided to follow the separate but equal law and gave all blacks buses.